guys, today we have a 2011 BE V6. It has the SIDI LLT engine with the Bosch E69 ECU. I just wanted to give you a quick, I guess, explanation of what we're doing here today. Um, we've installed the cams, an awesome OTR, a full exhaust, underdrive pulley, and it, it is an auto as well. Um, basically, these cars have to be custom tuned. You can, I guess, street tune them on, on the street. It's just a little bit hard to get to 213 kilometers like we have on this particular car in fourth gear. As you can see there, it's making 213.4 at the wheels, which is a very good figure for this vehicle. The manuals will make it a little bit more power. Um, just a really quick, I guess, recap of what we're doing. We use HP tuners and VCM suit on these. Um, when we're tuning, we're basically, we have all access to all these maps, engine maps, engine diagnostics, trans, trans, blah, 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 blah. So there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm not gonna get involved in the actual tuning process. There's a lot of guides on the internet. Um, the HP tuners forum's awesome. A lot of YouTube videos if you wanna start learning. Um, it is, like it might like seem like daunting, like, uh, like a real daunting sort of thing, but um, there are a few really good I guess tutorial um, like, like websites out there. One is HP Academy. That's great. Um, I know a lot of my friends have started using that, and, and they've and they've learned a lot. Basically, I just wanted to explain. There's a bit of confusion with stage one, stage two, stage three, um, and there's a bit of a confusion with flash tuning or uh, dyno tuning or custom tuning and, and stuff like that. Um, with these ECUs and and with this software, you have to flash tune them. And by flash tuning, I mean, after we've installed the cams, we might load a, a tune into these. And the actual process of loading the tune into them is, is flash tuning the ECU. And ECU stands for electronic control unit. Uh, there's also um, like a few other terms like ECM and stuff like that. And then you have the TCU, which is the transmission computer and stuff like that. So the actual flash tuning process, it's still a custom tune. We still custom tune all of these maps and stuff like that. But when we're actually going to write our file into the ECU, we go right vehicle. Uh, if it's going to load one day. And the actual process, at, at the moment, I'm only doing the ECU or the ECM. And this, there's different one, like options there. We're just writing the calibration. So the actual writing to the ECU, that is referred to as flash tuning. So we're flash tuning the ECU right now. There's also bench tuning. Bench tuning is where you take the ECU out, you open the ECU, or you, or you, like you don't always have to open it, but you will have to pin it. I do that for a lot of the Euro cars, like the CLA 45s, A45s, some of the AMGs we have to do that for, but on these particular cars we don't. So it's writing, 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 and a couple seconds it's done. Voila. And then what we'll do, uh, that's got the latest tune in it now. I'm on the dyno right now. Um, I would do another few, I guess, like runs on the dyno. I would see what my data logging looks like. That's with the, well, the VCM suit software. And then from there, I would do a retune and I would check it against what the I would check it against what the dyno is saying. Anyway, this one is ready. Um, it's making 213 at the wheels.